Minus 28 seconds. 25. Go Status Atlas. check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Insight. Wait, wait, T minus 15 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, zero. The liftoff of the Atlas V, launching the first interplanetary mission from the West Coast, and NASA's InSight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. at this point in the mission. Objective pressures, pump speeds, expected regions, extra ratio, controlling within expected parameters. The RD-180 engine providing 860,000 pounds of thrust. Physical body rates continue to look good. Booster systems look nominal at this point. Mach 1. The rocket is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Coming up, the rocket will enter max Q. This is the point where mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by Earth's atmosphere. Coming up on the throttle down. Booster has throttled back right on schedule. Signatures look good. Pump speeds, injector pressures continue to look right within band. Body rates controlling down the middle. Current altitude is 13 miles. Downrange distance, 7 miles. Current velocity, 1,965 miles per hour. Closed loop guidance has begun. The first part of the flight was pre-programmed trajectory. Now the rocket is giving itself feedback on its flight path. And Q alpha steering has begun. Body rates look good. Pump speeds, injector pressures, all within band. RCS pyro valve has been fired. System is now pressurizing flight level. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 30 miles. Downrange distance 43 miles. Current velocity 4,542 miles per hour. You are looking at a live view from the Atlas V rocket. The RD-180 engine continues to burn. Flight rates continue to look good. RD-180 still performing well. Two off the steering has been completed. Booster is now one quarter of its liftoff weight. Currently flying at four G's acceleration. Loose phase cooldown has begun. Pogo pyro valve has been fired. New the throttle to 5 Gs. We are 3 minutes 50 seconds into flight and we're nearing booster engine cutoff or BECO. Back to 4.6 Gs in preparation for BECO. Boost phase cooldown has completed. And we have BECO. Shutdown looks good. And the RD-180 engine on the first stage of the Atlas V has shut down. Stage separation. We have box and fuel pre-start. The GN2 purge firing. The RCS is underway. Centaur now controlling to a slightly fuel rich. J 
chamber pressures, locks pump discharge, and fuel venturi all within band. And we have Miko. Engine shutdown looks good. We have 4S settling motors on. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL10. And we have Miko. And we have indication of spacecraft set. Insight is now traveling at a velocity of 2,000 meters per second. Insight has passed through peak deceleration. Telemetry shows the spacecraft saw about 8 G. Insight should now be experiencing the peak heating rate. Ground stations are observing signals consistent with parachute deploy. Marco Alpha, Marco Bravo, maintain lock status. Altitude convergence, the radar has locked on the ground. Yes. Standing by for lander separation. Lander separation commanded. Altitude 600 meters. Altitude 400 meters. 200 meters. 80 meters, 60 meters, 30 meters, 20 meters, 17 meters, standing by for touchdown. Touchdown confirmed. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha!